And now, the news from our London studios. MTA International brings you the world news. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to MTA News, where we will show you some of the activities of our beloved Hazur in the previous week. But before that, we have a special report of the inauguration reception of the Mubarak Mosque. Senior members of parliament, members of the House of Lords, leaders from the armed forces, a police commissioner and local councillors enjoyed a special meeting with Hazur ahead of the Mubarak Mosque's inauguration reception on Saturday. Following the meeting, the main inauguration reception took place, with Hazur addressing hundreds of guests in the keynote speech. The founder of Islam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, stated that a person's neighbors are not just those who live in the immediate vicinity, but include at least the nearest 40 houses. Additionally, Quran teaches that a person's neighbors uh, include his work colleagues and travel companions. In light of this, we consider all of the people living in this area and even those who may travel in, on the roads near the site as our neighbors. Consequently, it is incumbent upon all Ahmadi Muslims, whether they live here at Islamabad, whether they live locally, or even if they just travel here to attend the prayers, to follow the laws, to be considerate at all times, and to fulfill the rights of our wide circle of neighbors. I personally pledge that I will uphold and honor your rights and strive to care for all of you, and I will continually urge the members of our community to do the same. Following the main reception dinner, Hazur joined a number of dignitaries, including the former Secretary of State for Climate Change and Energy, Ed Davey MP. During the meeting, Ed Davey mentioned he is standing for the leadership of the Liberal Democrat Party. In reply, Hazur said, I wish you well and my prayers are with you. As the blessed evening's proceedings came to an end, a number of guests, neighbours, and dignitaries reflected on the new site and the inauguration reception. You don't often see buildings these days that give you the wow factor, but your new mosque certainly has the wow factor. And I think as well the fact that you've got this fantastic hall here, which can be used not just for worship, but, but as His Holiness was kind enough to say, also made available to the community, I think is great. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Perhaps what I certainly hadn't realised was that where you give aid, that you don't just give it to other Muslim communities, but you give it to any community that needs the, the help. And I think, that, I think that's great, is that it shows a great depth of character. I think the nice thing is that what was previously just a collection of rather ramshackle buildings, at last there's something which is architecturally pleasant, visually pleasant. The mosque looks most attractive and fits into the landscape. Wonderful to see so many people here. Wonderful to see, you know, the number of MPs, the number of people from across the community that have come to support because we all work really closely with the Amdir community and it's always an absolute joy. So it's it's wonderful to be able to come and kind of welcome this this new, wonderful new building and, and, and the kind of whole community. Here. I'm a, a member of the all-party parliamentary group for the Ahmadis and uh, uh, I know the good work that your community has done. Um, we've had the events to raise money for charity, uh, the Walk for Peace, um, and we've held several of them in East London. So I've come from Ilford to Tilford. Holiness address enchanting and I have met the Holiness once before and today I had the very lucky occasion of talking to him three times and twice I spoke to him in, in, in English, addressed him and I think I but couldn't resist it things the final time I said, Your Holiness, if you don't Punjabi, you will not have fun. He said, it's okay, if Punjabi is not have fun, you will not have So we carried on in Punjabi. So, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't help that. I think Punjabi is not Punjabi, it's not going to be out of So Holiness is so down to earth, it's unbelievable. I think he's, he's He's got this personality, this charm. I think no, I would use a different Urdu ka word noor jo sa kehte na unke mein noor hai jo noor attract karta hai aadmi ko usme se insaniyat bahar nikalti hai. 
and, uh, and his uh, values and views on uh, human beings is uh, fantastic how he comes across he makes everyone feel important yes it's amazing to meet a very holy man wonderful and it doesn't matter what faith you are you could still accept what he was saying i live in tilford in the village i've lived here for 40 years and i was the village policeman in the mid 80s when uh, this became Islamabad and I looked after it for many years. It's amazing. I'm really impressed with the grounds. The, cause it never was much for gardens and grass and things but you look around now it's just green and you've got flower beds and everything and being a gardener <laughs> now I've retired um, you know I'm very, well, very impressed. Yeah, no, I think it's really nice that, uh, that, you're, that you're wanting to become part of the uh, uh, community, which is which is great. So, um, but there's more traffic uh, relating to the um, the school, yeah, you know, school run traffic than there is coming into to uh, Islamabad. So, uh, yeah. So. Um, it's been an amazing event. Um, I just love the friendliness, the warmth, and to actually see Islam for what I believe it is, rather than for what, unfortunately, the press often make it out to be. I thought he was really spot on. Um, it takes someone special to be able to get up and respect everybody that they're speaking about. And I think he did that. And I think that there needs to be a lot more of that from all sorts of communities to show that actually we all want a better world regardless where we're coming from. The main reception and address will be broadcast on MT International through the week and are available online. With these words, I end by once again thanking you for joining us on this joyful, uh, joyful occasion. My, may God bless you all. Thank you very much. That was a special report of the inauguration and reception of the Mubarak Mosque here in Islamabad. Now we will take a look at Hazul's other activities from the previous week. The highlight of this year's Masroor International Cricket Tournament came last Saturday when teams from around the world visited Hazur at the Islamabad site. The players had their photos taken before enjoying a special meal with their Khalifa. The following morning, the daily official mulakats included a guest from Germany. Julian Halsman works as a project coordinator for the Partnership of Democracy and was meeting Hazur for the very first time. We discussed about um, bringing people together, um, how I can connect all the religions and Fechta together, um, and how it's possible to build an open and transparency um, civilization. Later in the week, two Khudam delegations had a chance for photos with Hazur Mir Alevi's helper. The first were a group of Akfeno, who recently traveled to see the holy sites of the Quran and Bible in Jerusalem. Throughout the trip, you could see Hazur's love. Um, if I just give an example, that when the day we were coming back, at that day, um, Sadr Saab asked Hazur that Hazur pray they arrive on time. Hazur said, you shouldn't pray that they arrive on time, but you should pray that they arrive safely. And even now, um, having a picture taken with Hazur and Waqf you know, from various parts of the UK coming here and Hazur's love, um, it brings one's one closer to Khilafat and uh, Hazur. The second group were Khudam who had visited Georgia on a Vakfi Adi Tabligh mission. We had a picture with Hazur right now and uh, the very first thing he asked is uh, how many bats have you done and uh, then he was also very interested to know how many leaflets we have distributed. So this shows us how much uh, Hazur is uh, focused on Tabligh. That was a glimpse of some of Hazur's activities from the previous week. We will now end the programme with a summary of the Friday Sermon. In this week's Friday Sermon, Hazuri Anwar May Alabi's helper continued with the recent series of sermons about the companions who took part in the Battle of Badr. Continuing on the accounts of Hazrat Zayd bin Haris Raziallahu Anhu, Hazur mentioned the incident of his martyrdom. When Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took Hazrat Zayd bin Harsa, Hazrat Jafar and Hazrat Abdullah bin Rawaha ki shahad ki khabar pounchi, تو آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کھڑے ہوئے ان کا حال بیان کرنے کے لیے حضرت زید کے ذکر سے آغاز فرمایا آپ نے فرمایا اے اللہ 
زید کی مغفرت فرما اے اللہ زید کی مغفرت فرما اے اللہ زید کی مغفرت فرما پھر آپ نے فرمایا کہ اے اللہ جعفر اور عبداللہ بن رواہ کی مغفرت فرما حضرت عائشہ رضی اللہ عنہ بیان فرماتی ہیں کہ جب حضرت زید بن حادثہ حضرت جعفر اور حضرت اللہ بن رواہ شہید ہو گئے تو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مسجد میں بیٹھ گئے آپ کے چہرے سے غم و حزم کا اظہار ہو رہا تھا تو قاتل قبرا میں لکھا ہے کہ جب حضرت زید شہید ہو گئے تو نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ان کے اہل خانہ کے پاس تعزیت کے لیے تشریف لائے تو ان کی بیٹی اس حال میں تھی کہ اس کے چہرے سے رونے کے آثار ظاہر ہو رہے تھے اس پر آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی آنکھوں سے بھی آنسو جاری ہو گئے حضرت زید بن عبادہ نے عرض کیا یا رسول اللہ یہ کیا ہے آپ کی آنکھوں سے آنسو آ رہے ہیں آپ نے فرمایا حاضہ شوق الحبیب اللہ حبیب یہ ایک محبوب کی اپنے محبوب سے محبت ہے ایک اور جگہ بیان ہوا ہے کہ حضرت زید بن حادثہ کو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا محب کہا جاتا تھا حضرت زید کے متعلق نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے فرمایا کہ لوگوں میں سے سب سے زیادہ میرا محبوب وہ ہے جس پر اللہ نے انعام کیا ہے یعنی زید اللہ تعالیٰ نے اسلام کے ذریعے ان پر انعام کیا اور رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے آزادی کے ذریعے ان پر انعام کیا